what's going on guys welcome back to the channel and in this video man i want to share some more gameplay with you guys using a vulture and i've been having so much freaking fun guys i know i made a video on it yesterday but vulture is just so freaking amazing i can't stop using him and it's crazy because vulture in the comics as a character i don't care about him so the fact that netmarble made him so good that a character that i don't even like is someone that i'm actually in love with using is crazy 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 stuff guys i absolutely love him he's a fantastic character if you don't have him start working on him he is freaking amazing did i say he's amazing he is amazing anyway so for today we're gonna take him into war boss mode and we're gonna be putting his damage to the test because we already know he has survivability if you guys haven't seen my first video i put up a, a first look at vulture yesterday where he soloed a wave mode without even being touched it was absolutely hilarious so for today we're gonna put his damage to the test in war boss mode and we're gonna be going up against one of the new war bosses and that is cable all right so let me go ahead and show you guys the details for vulture and then we can go in as you guys can see right here we have 124 for attack speed 56 percent for critical rate 190 for critical damage 50 percent for ignore defense and 49 percent for skill cooldown or reduced cooldown duration as for his gears they're still sitting at 17 and the last gear slot is rolled for critical damage just because he's getting skill cooldown natively so i don't need to roll it for him right here all of his skills are at six but pretty much the only skills i've been using with vulture is the five the four and the one because they're iframe skills so using these skills when you have almost max skill cooldown he's in a state where it's just iframe after iframe after iframe after iframe it's just hilarious the only way you can really get hit with vulture is if the enemy has a skill like cyclops third skill where they can take you out of your iframe or if there's a cutscene and the enemy cancels out one of your skills and then that just throws off the rotation for a little bit but apart from that if you're just chaining these skills back to back to back to back to back to back it's really annoying to face a vulture so i hope you guys are never in that situation but when you're not on the receiving end it is absolutely hilarious to watch anyways as for the iso set i'm running overdrive and this is probably one of the best iso sets for him if you find that you need the attack speed go ahead and give him power of angry hope because more attack speed will definitely not hurt However, it definitely might make a little bit of an impact where it might make his iframes a little bit shorter, so keep that in mind. I haven't noticed it, and as you guys saw, I almost have max attack speed already. So once I get that last 6%, it will be interesting to see whether or not his iframes become any shorter to the point where I can't stay in iframes all the time. Really doubt it though, but we'll just have to wait and see. Right here, as for the obelisk, I have ignore dodge, critical damage, and invincibility because my vulture was built for PvP. I built him for Battle World, I built him for Alliance Conquest, timeline eventually once I tier 2 him. So that is why he has invincibility. If you want to go for a PvE war boss killer, go ahead and put a damage proc on him, and that's gonna make him eligible to clear some of the later floors of Shadowland for you. With the invincibility, he might not be able to do that unless you give him Urus and touch his uniform. As you guys can see, I have not touched his uniform yet. However, Vulture is making me debate whether or not I want to upgrade his uniform. I've never upgraded any uniform in the game as of right now because I don't need to. And although I don't need to upgrade Vulture's uniform because he's great, I've been having so much fun with him. That I'm actually debating upgrading my very first uniform. Crazy, crazy stuff, guys. Anyways, let's jump into World Boss and take out Cable. Challenges. And I have not played today. Oh, Ebony is. Oh, that's the first time I've seen Ebony. Let's go here and we're gonna grab Vulture. Not you, Ant Man. We're gonna grab Vulture and we're gonna throw in just Gamora and Daredevil for the fun of it. And we're not going to do this with any strikers. So let's see how fast we can clear this. Ideally, I'd like to get this done in under a minute. That would be pretty impressive for an incomplete tier 1 character. Especially since he doesn't really have a great leadership at all. This guy's a savage. Holy... Oh 
Okay, he's about to cancel out the five, lost a bunch of damage, and my rotation is gonna be a little bit off now. Yeah, because he heals, I don't think we're gonna get this in under a minute since I don't have the damage proc, but we'll see. Uh, he interrupted it again. Yeah, he's gonna... <laughs> you bastard. <laughs> Cable, you bastard. He robbed us of that one minute, guys. Oh, no, he didn't. Oh, no, he mother... Didn't. He didn't, guys. I spoke too soon. You guys saw it. Vulture is a savage. This guy couldn't even touch us. And we got it under a minute. That is crazy stuff, guys. Crazy freaking stuff. I'm telling you guys. Vulture. Vulture is a vulture. Holy. So, yeah, guys. That's all I have to share for today, man. Like always, thank you guys so much for watching. I absolutely love Vulture. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.